Last time on the Ties That Bind, Wolfgang, Denier, Twig, and Asmo, along with Ramses Palto, ventured into a mysterious manor implanted deep in the heart of the mines of Silver Rock. Inside, they found what seemed to be an alchemic laboratory filled with the bones and blood of magical creatures and people. At the heart of this manor awaited its master, an ancient inhuman calling himself Eadric Kench. In an effort to end an ancient war, Eadric performed experiments using the bodies of beings tainted by a twisted miasma, causing him to lose his, huma his once human form and be driven into exile. With the blood and bones of sorcerers now his primary focus in his experiments, and his eyes locked on Ramses, our heroes found little choice but to dispatch this creature and bury his ambitions along with his home. With the issue of finding enough minecarts to escape the sealed mine still on their plate, our heroes allowed Ramses to rest and guard the still unconscious William Miner as they ventured deeper into the mines with Giblink, their goblin companion. They found their, lost, their last minecart, but they also found a bubbling mound of red ooze containing the haunted faces of devoured men. You who have been chosen, find yourself among the blessed. The great lord calls from the abyss, and I shall bring you home. Asmo just looks to Giblink, do you know this guy? Giblink is standing there kind of like stunned, like he doesn't know what the fuck he's looking at. As its throbbing mass pulses before you, the hollow eyes of the three men within gaze on in agony and appear to give out an unheard wail. So this thing is an ooze or a slime, yes? It appears as such. Right, can I check my book to see if I've ever seen anything like this? Uh, as you pull out your book, the eyes seem to gaze towards you. Hunter of the unknown. Uh oh. You seek answers. You need only ask. The Great One will provide all. All right. He closes the book. What are you then? I am but an emissary. A small piece of a greater whole. T-Wig's ears droop down. Oh boy. Asma pulls out his blades, like just, oh boy. Wolfgang, Wolfgang raises up his hand. Its eyes shift over to you, Asmo. You hey, seek the confrontation. Real, real fast, is the music Music's loud? a little out. Yeah, yeah it's loud. a little out. You seek confrontation, serpent. Put the weapon down, Asmo. Asmo just looks at T-Wig. And Asmo just grits his teeth and puts the weapons down. One must always be prepared for confrontation. It is how you live your life. Why are you yeah. here before us, creature? I have told you, you are chosen. Chosen I'm for here what? To bring you to the Great One. The Great One being. None truly know his name. Its eyes seem to drift around. Bearer of the Shard. Where are you? Out of, out of, out of, out of character. Just so slowly stepping right away. <laughs> Did ears just, just a smoke fifth? Ah, son of a bitch! <laughs> its body begins to ripple as a tendril begins to creep around the wall that Denier has slunk behind. Denier, don't slide away too fast. Why? What's going on? Giblink backs away re relatively uneasily as what appears to be uh, a gelatinous stream begins creasing down this wall. So, uh. you're one of the bleeding gods things then, huh? 
Hmm, such an unfitting name. What would you call it? The Great One. Asma puts his hands on the cart, and like it looks like he's ready to push it as hard as he can. We have a Kirk guy in there. Don't. Uh, no, no he, he's 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 not in this one. Yeah, he's, he's not. Oh, oh, right, he's in the other one. Okay, I'm scared. Yeah, I know that. That trust me. Asma's chaotic neutral, but not that chaotic. Good. What if I eat a dude into a dude? That'll live. Bearer of the lost shard. Surely, you seek unification. I've seen what goes on there. I want no part of it. Then why do you hold so tightly? You feel your hand start to tremble as it shimmies towards your spell component pouch. I will turn to put the to put myself between it and the spell component. I'm going to pull out Requiem. Your sword, your sword cocks an eyebrow. The um, this thing has like a like a like an appendage coming out, reaching for Denier. It has what appears to be like a stream of goo, just covering that doorway. Like okay. the shape of it on the map does not do it justice, as it appears that these red tendrils are stretching out along the ground as it begins to pulse and roll and glorp forward. Glorp is a good word for it. Is it, is it, okay, is it metagaming to just ask my uh, team out of character, are we staying or are we running? It is. Okay, I just want, I wanted to make sure. Alright. Mm, can I incite this thing? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, uh, this is a good thing. You can attempt to inside it. Okay. Which head also... do you want to inside? Uh, whichever look, whichever one's been talking the most. Uh, you're just hearing a voice inside your head. Ah, beans. Um, uh, it's, it's, oh, it's got it's got the psyker ability. Whichever one seems the least decayed, I guess, the least like amalgamated into this thing. Okay. Seventeen. They are in great pain. This, this isn't fair. You're not borrowing it right. What? The voice. It's not yours, is it? You're borrowing it. Who said that? Where are you? What? Huh? I can't sense team. I hear you. What are you? We are peaceful. And we are wild. And we are both at the same time. <sighs> Wolf can't get behind me. Yeah, Wolf can't get behind me. Slowly start backing up. <laughs> Asmo pulls the cart back a little bit, just like well, like five five feet behind you. Yeah, can you just move the? Yeah, yeah. Can, no, no, I'm I'm like right here. Yeah, Asmo just pulls it back very slowly, like that. Per perfect. I'm gonna try to reach into this thing. Uh, the eyes are seeking around, like the eyes are focusing on you, but it just can't seem to find you. Find it. Find it. Find it! As the mouths open, you begin to see a bluish glow emanating from within these skulls. As tendrils of wispy, ethereal energy begin to f smoke out of them. Tiwig! We have to kill Nothing. this thing! On tethers. Uh, mm. As Three, Asmo says... The ghosts of... Sorry, the ghosts of three men appear. Wolfgang, please, we have to help them! Destroy. 
Move, Tiwig! Asmo pushes the cart as hard as he can towards the thing. All right, I will try to dodge out of the way as fast as I can, I guess. Uh, do, do, do a strength check. Uh, go ahead and do... Uh, yes, actually. Yeah, Asmo just pushes it Say, as hard uh, as... Athletics, athletics check. Athletics check, okay. 13, Asmo pushes it. All right. Uh, T-Wig, you're gonna have to roll out of the way, because this thing's coming barreling at you as Asmo's Yay! booking the, it forward. With the zero in dexterity. Oh, no, I meant, like, he, he gave you enough warning that you can move oh, out Oh, did of the he? Way. Okay. I'm gonna yeah. push out of the so, way. So, yeah, whoosh, sure. whoosh, 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 splort. <laughs> Is good. it stuck halfway in it? <laughs> yes. And I want you to roll me a D10. A D10? I will do that for you. Okay. Two! The creature seems unfazed as the ghosts all begin to look at you, and then they look towards T-Wig. Roll initiative. Oh, no. gotta move! Can, can I say do a bonus action before we go? Before no, that was uh, That was your was action. action. Damn it! Okay, no worries. Tame A. 23. Allow me to... Nine. That's good, actually. Mm. All right. All right. Let me write these out. All right. All right. I want a D and D episode with them so badly. I just... What the Homestar Runner characters? No, uh, no, Bob's Bob's Burgers. Oh, that's what I was. Yeesh. Fuck, we should have returned the slab. Fuck, we bust up! This is creepy music, dude. I love it. Yeah, this is really good. I, I might have to hit you up for this particular song. I like it. It is called Bent and Broken. Ooh, I'll write that down. That's good. All right. Asmo, you're first. Asmo, uh, okay, can I do a can I do a perception to see what seems to be more imminent threat the ghosts or the or the or the blob of faces? Uh I'm trying to think what that would be. Yeah, that's what I was asking. That would probably be a Perception check. Okay. Thank you for letting me do this. All right. Nine. Shit. Uh, the massive ball of ooze definitely seems like the more threatening thing, but you're not entirely sure what the ghosts are capable of. Okay. If I go to a di diagonal space, I can still attack, right? Or do I have to be front to front? Mm. I, I play it like you just have to be within five feet. All righty. Asmo's going to move up one and target the ghost on the left in front of the creature. All right. Asmo's going to just whip. Hmm? Uh, the hollow face of a uh, beefy, like, burly-looking minor man looks at you. <laughs> Asmo just says, well, I might as well try and test this. Asmo uh, activates his blade, says, knock, and swings with frostbite right at him. 20. That'll hit. And that is six plus four, ten damage. That's six plus. Yeah, six plus four. Uh, six piercing, four cold. All right, that is. All right, uh, as you punch at it, you cleave off what appears to be an ethereal chunk of its jaw. It starts to slowly reform, but it looks more skeletal as it comes back. <sighs> it's not good. Here we go. Asmo just realized, Asmo's like, okay, maybe magic will only work on this. That's kind of his call right now. Well, you're, uh, you're Asmo's gonna whip up yeah, fire. Yeah, it, it definitely looked like it did some damage to the ghost, but obviously since you're not getting a clean, punchy feeling out of it, you're not really sure how to respond to it. So Asmo just whips out fire ant. Fire damage, 13. 
Uh, 13 will miss. Yep. Okay. Damn. And Asmo's gonna try one more with one more time with Frostbite. 20! That'll hit again. And that's eight piercing plus two cold. Alright, as you bring Frostbite in and rend it straight up its chest, again, it disappears into a waft of smoke and its body comes back, but it seems to be like a massive, like everything from the torso up appears to be skeleton, except for like the arms, since you didn't hit those. As we just, uh, can I say something real quick, very quick, like one sentence? Yes. I can't do much damage to it. That's it. All right. Meanwhile, the ghost behind T-Wig reaches out. So they can't see me, or? The ghosts can. Okay, but the thing in front of me can, okay. Yes. Will a 14 hit you in your form? Uh, do I still have the, how long does your armor last, Denier? Eight hours. Oh, Eight then hours? you still have that, so. Okay, so that would be, what does that do again? It gives me. It turns your AC, your base AC from a 10 to a 13. Uh, base so AC. Yeah, so almost. it still hits me. Yeah. Oh, it does. Damn. Yeah. But you still get the dexterity. Uh, it turns, yeah, it turns uh, your base. I don't have a dexterity. <laughs> All right, you begin to feel some energy ebb out of you as its hands touch, as both of its hands touch your helmet. You take uh, six necrotic damage. Okay. Denier, it is your turn. All right, Denier brings up his staff. He casts Magic Missile at level three and he attempts to strike Blue's Tether. I believe I have a line of sight of Blue. I know I don't have it on Red, though. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Red's kind of reaching out of a wall. Yeah, so uh, I'll go uh, Magic Missile level 3, which is 5 bolts at Blue's Tether. Okay. Uh, let me see, that's 5, 10, 16 damage to Blue's Tether. They fly one after the other, impacting the Tether, and they make a solid boom, almost as if being deflected by a force shield as they do so. But as they do, it begins. you begin to hear it. And finally, that last one flies through it, and you hear it shatter. As the ghost, untethered, Drifts away. Good job, Denier. And one of the skull, as it disappears, as it flies up through the top of the mine, one of the skulls inside the slime shatters. <laughs> Bearer of the Lost Shard, you know not what you do. Is it still my turn? Uh, if you have any other actions. Free action. What will the shards do when they're recombined? You will know in time. A chill runs down Denier's spine. That ends my turn. The other ghost drifts through the monstrosity, back through its skull, and then back out. Hold on. Wait, there we go. Deja vu. <clears throat> the other side, as it pops up in front of T Wig, reaching out with its hands to join the other ones. Yeah, that's an 18 to hit. That will hit. Seven necrotic damage as the both of these ghosts are gripping onto your armor. You feel energy pulsing out of you. Stay with me, Mel. All right. Next up, we have T Wig. It is your turn. Okay. Um. Uh, 
I'd like to, if possible. Hmm. Oh, I'm trying to think. Um, how big is this going to make me? That's going to make me larger. Um, I am going to... Yeah, I'm going to break away from combat from the red ghost and run underneath Asmo, like between his legs real fast. Okay. So, so that so will taking... provoke an... Yeah, I'll yeah. take an attack of opportunity from the skull thing, and I will take an attack of opportunity from the red ghost. But I'm not leaving combat in with the with the purple ghost. All right, here we uh, go. Go ahead and move yourself to where you're going to move as a uh, as the ghost reaches out to grab you. That is a miss. As it reaches out, you duck under it, but the slimy wad of malicious evil begins to swipe at you with a tendril that you also happen to duck. Okay. As, uh, it, narrowly, as, I, as it narrowly misses your helmet. I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna point to the red goon and go, you have no right! And I'm gonna transform into an auroch, which is a giant bull from the caravan. It'll make me a, a category size larger and I'm gonna do it underneath Asmo, so as I transform, ah. it's on my back. <laughs> Hold on, let me Eight. move Asmo to the top layer here. Asmo, the bull rider. Okay. Holy crap! So that's my bonus action and my free action, and I'm going to do a gore as my main action on, uh... Ah, shit, I don't want to attack the ghosts. Can I occupy the same space as a ghost? Uh, in theory, Yes. But one of them is inside the minecart. Okay. And the can other I one see... is in a wall. Can I see the tether? Uh, no, it's inside the minecart. Okay. Um. Uh. <laughs> I don't have anything else then. I can't attack. I don't want to attack the ghost. He won't. So. Uh, I guess I'll end my turn there. If I can't hit anything. All right, the slime wad rolls forward and oozes Jeez, around so the corner. Oh my god. Oh my god, it changed shape! And as it does so, it throws a tentacle out, or... I guess it's one of these massive slime, what are they called, pseudopods? Yeah, a massive pseudopod. pseudopod slams out towards the bull that is T-Wig. Actually, no, it can't see T-Wig. It slams a massive pseudopod out towards Asmo, who it can see. Oh, shit. Uh, that is a 20 to hit. Yes, it does. Yup. And that will be... That is uh, 12 bludgeoning damage as you're slapped about the face with this thing's mighty glorpiness. And as it touches you, your brain begins to ring as you take an additional three psychic damage. Ah! That's why he grabs his head. Ah, son of a... Ah! And Denier, you feel a presence haunting your mind, and I need you to make a wisdom save. Okay. You said wisdom? Yes. Okie doke. There's a 23. Nice. You focus on the training that you've done with Ramses as you close your eyes and force it out with a resounding no that rings through your body. Why do you resist? As you open your eyes, you see a tentacle coming down toward you, a pseudopod. I throw up my shield. All right, so will a 18 hit? It will not. As your shield deflects it, it slops down onto the side. I resist because that's the only thing I know how to do. You will not take me like you've taken the others. Wolfgang, it is now your turn. Hmm. Uh, in my travels and long history of monster hunting, I'm sure I would have come across ghosts and phantasms before, right? Yes. Would I know if my magic would send them off to the better place? 
Uh, you know that it exercises them. You're not entirely sure what happens to ghosts after you obliterate them with magic, but I'll give you... Well, actually, no. You might know. Let's give you a knowledge arcane check. Actually, knowledge religion. Knowledge religion. Okay, I'm better at that. <laughs> 18. Mm. Uh, you know that the energy that you send forth is that of life energy. And that uh, by doing so, it basically forces the spirits away from this realm. Basically, by blasting them with your radiant energy, you are, in fact, exercising most spirits. Although, if they are truly evil and malicious, uh, malicious and try to hold on to the planet, like, try to hold on to this plane of existence, sometimes the spirit itself is destroyed. Okay, so if I if I do use holy magic, it will set them free? Basically, uh, from what from what you know, most spirits that are just misunderstood will just be set free. You're not entirely sure with how this thing works, but that's your best guess with how normal ghosts have worked. All right. <sighs> I'm going to flip around to the back side of this uh, cart. I assume I'm still within five feet of the ghost, though, right? Uh, yes. All right. I'm Say going that, to uh, back here. We'll probably be behind the cart. Going I'll to shift it. Whip out the sword of vengeance. Oh yeah, going... baby, let's do it. And I'm going to take a swing at its tether. Twenty-one with flanking. Mm. Uh, that'll hit. Five piercing. As you thrust the sword forward, it pierces straight through the tether. I don't feel anything. What is Good. What was that? <laughs> am, am I in yet? Oh my god. Don't. Hmm. Like it for giving me a chance. All right. Uh, yes, it does connect, and it seems to be like threaded as you pull it back out. It seems to be uh, kind of like unraveling a little bit, but it's still there. All right. Like a bungee cord. And since it is not my packed weapon, I do not get thirsting blade. So I'm going to use my bonus action to spend two uh, uses of my healing light to heal myself for two d6. All right. Your muscles still ache from your encounter with Iadric as the frostbite still lingers on the tips of your fingers. But you warm yourself up using your holy glowing energy, healing for nine points of damage. Asmo, right. it's now your turn again. Asmo! If, uh, if that is the end of your turn. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Asmo's been seeing everyone attack the tendrils. Asmo looks at the red one's tendril. Asmo reaches into his back while he's mounted on a giant auroc. Ugh, okay, okay. Asmo pulls out the scroll of ice knife. Oh, uh, you might want to read that first. Oh, what does it? What does this actually do? I bought it and I've had it in. I don't know if that's a thing with scrolls in this world. If we're allowed to know what the actual detailing of the spell is, or if it's just you buy it and you figure it out when you use it. So. Uh, oh. Since I have to look it up, I'm going to say that unless you can get an arcane roll while I look it up. Okay. Then, uh... I just don't know if I, I'm I know, it. I know what it does specifically, but if I can give, like, I throw out a brief... No, like, knowledge just... arcane. Me? Oh, cool. Uh, no, for I'm asthma. a cow. Yeah. Uh, knowledge arcane arcana. That's two! Oh, oh, boy. Ice knife, you have a knife made of ice. Although, I will say, uh, you're having a hard time unraveling that scroll with your hand frozen around an ice gauntlet. Son of a... Never mind. But Aswell just puts it away. <laughs> Can Aswell just put it away and lose an attack for the bad idea? Uh, I'll let you lose a bonus action. You'll, you'll okay. lose, like, a bonus attack. Can I attack anything while I'm mounted on the back of the Oroc? Uh, you're in front of a ghost... And if you shift over the saddle, you can hit the slime and the other ghost. Asmo's gonna jump off the Auroc and try and slam uh, 
frostbite into the tendril that's connecting the red ghost. All right. Where are you going to jump o- over to? Right here, essentially, between okay. the two ghosts. Asmo jumps off. Thanks, D-Wig! And Asmo just uses that momentum to jump off and slam down Frostbite. And 11 is going to miss as you're jumping down. Well, Asmo has one extra attack now because he blew one of them and goes for a second slash with Fire Ant. And that's a 13 son of a gun! That is just going to miss, unfortunately, as as the tendril, as the tether just waves out of your way. Oh, boy! Asmo's like, uh uh-oh. Also, sorry about the scroll thing. I hope that wasn't metagaming. That was just a reaction. I'm sorry. It's all right. I, I trust me. It happens to me all the time. Uh, the ghost that's coming out of the wall still notices you as it floats a little bit. Well, I guess it doesn't need to float any further out of the wall as it reaches towards one of your horns, T-Wig. Uh... But as it reaches... It stops and pulls back. No. I won't do it! It's, uh, the uh, ooze begins to pulse and glow as the ghost's tether turns red and then its eyes glow red. It rolled a nat one, so it missed its attack. Oh, wow. And began to resist. Just to give you what happened with that flavor. Denier, it is your turn. All right, so from where I'm standing, do I have visual of any of the tethers, or am I just seeing a a wall of red goo in front of me? There is an ever-expanding wall of red goo climbing towards you and up the wall. Okay. Oh, shit. Hold on. Sorry. I forgot. Giblink. (gasps) The boy! Giblink's been standing here. Okay, he he was petrified the first time around. I'm going to throw him in the rotation here. Do-do-do-do. Uh, Denier, you have your round first. I'm going to have Giblink go after you. I'm just going to say he was petrified for the first um, round. Okay. Then... Oh. I'm going to move. I'm going to move and take the uh, take the attack of opportunity. You feel your brain being tugged at again. Mm-hmm. Make a wisdom save as you're running away. Okay. Nat 20. Oh, baby! Nice! As it begins to probe uh, probe towards you, your brain is like an iron shield. You resist. You continue to resist. Your willpower is strong. You will serve well. The hell I will! I cast Scorching uh, scorching Ray. Do beast. it with advantage. Do it with advantage uh, if it's a uh, attack roll. It is three attack rolls. Oof. All right. Do all of them with advantage as you just blindsided this thing with your mental fortitude. Okay. That is a twelve. That's a miss. That is a twenty-five. That is a hit. Eleven damage. As you fi- as you fire out a blast. You crash it square into one of the skulls, shaking it. The ooze begin like you start to see the physical shape of the skull as the ooze begins to attempt to rebuild around it. As you fire your third fiery blast. As he fires a third one, Denier snarls out, and that is another twenty-five. That'll hit. Mm. Five damage. And you uncover a little bit more of the skull with this fire as it begins to melt away at the gelatinous goo. You and your master has been plaguing me for years. I will not serve. You will. You just don't know. I'll die first. Perhaps. I am my turn. It, yeah. Uh, as you're saying that, you hear a sizzling as T-Wig begins to bolt and dive away. Wait, me? You mean Giblink? Oh, sorry. Giblink begins to bolt and dive into the water. (laughs) Oh, no! As you you look down under the uh, forward slimy glob 
There's a wick that is burning down. Oh! What? Oh! Man. Oh life. my god. As the explosion goes off, this thing will have to make a deck save at disadvantage. Oh no. What about T-Wigginism? Ooh. Uh, it is only, I, I treat this as basically a 10 foot, or a 5 foot radius, or a 10 foot radius kind of thing, so let's say. Nades out! It checks out. Oh yeah, T-Wig will have to make one. So will ask Oh! Oh Sorry. no! So I was you, right. You guys can make it as you, uh, as, uh, Giblink, as you saw Giblink diving away. This is gonna be just a straight 20 for being an Auroch. Yeah, this thing failed. 15. Uh, what, is it a deck save? Yes. Uh, T-Wig, you made it. Yay. Graceful, 19! Yeah, Asmo, you make it too. Shit, Asmo just dives. I like, I want to knock like a rock that blasts into my face with my horn. The cow does Hello? a standing back. As, uh, as a massive fireball goes off, your ears begin to ring and rubble begins to kind of shake from the ceiling. And as you're able to look back towards this creature, you notice that it's kind of like, it's just amorphized. It is just all over the place. And one of the skulls shatters. And the uh, ghost that was in the minecart flies away. This creature is in the shape of basically the T-1000 after it got blasted by a grenade launcher. Oh, oh shit. Jesus. That for Gibling's friends, freak! All right. Next up, we have Ghost that is gone. So, T-Wig. Uh, can I see the same tether that, um, Asmo was aiming for? Not from your angle. The tether leads into the thing, and you're on the other side. Where would I have to go to make, to get a shot at that? Uh, where Asmo is, basically. Oh, okay. Um. Because it comes out of the wall. It's actually a very thin passage from there. Would the water be considered difficult terrain? Uh, for your size category, probably not. For Giblink, definitely. All right. <laughs> I'm imagining you jumping in, then just the wave, just Giblink flashes up onto the shore. Oh, okay. I have to do straight. Okay, how much movement do I? Oh shit! I have fifty feet of movement. All right. Hold on. Uh... If I move, no, I still can't do it. I'm just gonna move it uh, around this thing and get between it and. Uh, Denier. And I'm just gonna kind of whip around and snort, and I'm gonna go for a gore attack. Go for it. It's gonna be plus seven. 25! That will ah. definitely hit as your horns begin to ram straight towards this gelatinous ooze. It'll be 15 points of uh, piercing damage, which is magical. Magical piercing, all yeah. right. Mark and I just snort down. steam and water. As you do, I need you to make a wisdom save. Okay. As you attack this thing with your physical body. Uh, I get to use my wisdom save as my character. Yeah. So. 25. Mm. You manage to hoard off this intruding force from your mind. and back off with what feels to be like a tiny ringing headache. Just kind of tilt my head slightly, scrape the horn across the, the cavern side. What? It begins to morph and glorp. as it stretches into the water around the... side. Oh. Big schlorp. 
Oh my god, this thing is so f it's Ah, this enemy! A massive tentacle seeks uh, it seeks you out, Denier. It's going to have to get through my shield. And it won't this time as it slams down the side of your arcane shield. But I do need you to make another wisdom save as you feel that same protruding force trying to enter your mind. Submit! 18. Nice. Oof. These wisdom saves are saving Good our rolls. asses. These wisdom saves are saving our asses. They're definitely saving Denier's ass. Kiss my furry ass! Oof. As he holds up the shield. Oh my. And it slammed as you're holding up the shield. It slams down hard on it. Denise, Denier's knees buckle a little bit before he forces himself back to his feet. Oh, let me finish my oh. thought. <laughs> okay, go ahead. As a nat 20. Oh! oh. It has a second attack? Uh, yes. Oh. It has two attacks and one special ability. As a nat 20 slams down on you, buckling your shield and forcing you to the ground with seventeen bludgeoning damage and you hear this echoing lang this echoing language and uh, the echoing language of the infernals echoing through your head you shall be mine, mine, mine. As you see the eye blaze into your vision, you take eight psychic damage along with that. Okay. Jesus. I am still up. As your arcane ward shatters around you. Yeah, it's gone. Is he prone to? No. No, not technically, but this slime is definitely all around him now. All right, Wolfgang. Wolfgang hears uh, the the sound of a catman being pummeled into the ground. Meow. It, yeah, it sounds like. <laughs> Meow. Meow. And he, he's Meow. going to. <laughs> he's going to. Uh, oh, we're so we're in such tight spaces. I forgot movement was the thing. That was that was, was good. that was where I was going to end up anyway. Uh, Wolfgang is going to sprint onto the bridge, holding your. He's going to shout to this. He's going to shout to this thing, Hey, freak! You should focus on the real threat to your great one. And I'll I'll take the barrel of Requiem and I'll scrape it across uh, uh, the blade of the Sword of Vengeance's edge. Uh, and I will... This is for flavor. I catch it gotcha. on fire with Sacred Flame and I shoot it out like I get to Gaten show at this thing. Mm, that's good. All right, fire your Sacred Flame. It needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Will a 17 make it? Yes. All right. Oh, it no. Makes it. it takes as no the, damage. <laughs> as the uh, ball of slime ebbs out of the way, it fires through it and hits the cave wall, and then it reforms. Fuck. All right, Asmo, your turn. Asmo, just seeing the thing slurping around. You still see—is the tether now longer because the thing has crawled all around T Wig and yes, it now stretches. It now stretches between that ghost and basically the closest part of this being. Okay, can, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of roll to the side and still stay in contact with it. I don't take an attack of opportunity for that, right? No, no, no. you're just making a five foot adjustment. All right, then Asmo is going to slam down with fire ant fire damage. Twenty-seven on that on that tether. That'll hit. Seven fire damage. Uh, All Asmo right, you can you can see the thread begin to fray as you bring it back up. All righty, Asmo's going to hit it with a frostbite now. Twenty-one. That'll also hit. Uh, nine piercing and four cold. It looks like it's hanging on by a thread. Asmo slams down with the fire ant one more time while yelling out. Just at the top of his lungs, like, ah, 25. That'll hit. 
Nine fire damage. It had one health. As you're bringing it down, think it slips free. The ghost's eyes begin to glow blue again. Thank you. As it flies away, and the last remaining skull within the beast shatters. You have taken what doesn't belong to you. Do I hear that? You all hear it. You shall know fear. Denier, it is your turn. Do I go offense or do I go defense? I've, I've got to do it. I cast Magic Missile at level 3 and just bombard this thing. Alright, fire away. Oh Six, my god. 8, 19, 11, uh, 16 damage. Yeah, as these magical orbs begin to encompass and circle this thing, they slam into it, exploding one after the other, as bubbles begin to pop. It's slimy goo, if, like, splattering all over the place as it climbs back into the form. <laughs> Panting Denier brings his staff in front of him, ready to try to defend the next attack. All right, Giblink is going to use his turn to get up here, and he draws the string of his longbow. As an arrow sinks its way into the slime, it begins to be pulled in and ingested. Giblink looks kind of disappointed, like, I don't know what the fuck I was expecting. Guess I'm just hanging out then. <laughs> T-Wig, it is your turn. Okay. Uh... Oh, man. Yeah, I'm going to move around. I'm not going to leave its combat space. And so I... in the water and jump around it. I'm going to ram my face right into this thing with another gore attack. Seventeen. Seventeen will hit as you slam into this thing's gelatinous form. Splashes and ripples form about... Nine points of uh, damage, magical. I'm gonna try my best just for flavor to position myself like over top or near Denier. This isn't fair. You can see me. I can't see you. I do not appreciate this. Shardbearer, where are they? Wisdom save. For me? Uh, Denier. 20. Oh, thank <sighs> God. God damn, man. <laughs> oh, my God. I know these wisdom saves are scary as fuck every time. Jesus. They are incredibly scary. I My hands are shaking right now, dude. <laughs> it raises a tentacle up and starts to slam in as many random directions as it can. I'm going to roll... Essentially at disadvantage to try to hit T-Wig. Okay. My AC is very low, so... Alright, well, will a... Decks. Yeah, a 19 will hit then, if that's the case. Yeah. As one of the tentacles slams down, dealing nine bludgeoning damage. Okay. And three psychic damage. Okay. And then the other one goes slamming about. <laughs> Let's do it. All 
Well, that's not good. That uh, will a thirteen hit you? Yeah. Okay. I'm a big, big boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was gonna say you're giant, so. Twelve bludgeoning damage and four psychic damage. So that's sixteen in total. Yes. Oof. Oof. As the cow gets slammed, the cow goes oof. Move. <laughs> <laughs> Wolfgang, it is your turn. Hey! You set him over here, you slimy son of a bitch! And I I'll. you. <laughs> yeah, but you're not listening, and I'll fire Requiem at him. Hey, Silver... hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Silver bullets. I can't. Why? I can't reach him from here. You gotta fire with disadvantage due to the sword. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> Behold the curse of the Blade of Vengeance. No, Asma shouldn't have this sword. Yeah. <laughs> 22! Oh, Still yeah. hits! Just, you just tell the blade, shut up! Bang! The god is my wife! <laughs> <laughs> that hits. That hits, alright. Yeah. A six piercing silver. And thirsting blade, so I fire again. All right. The bullet seems to fly into this thing as a massive uh, entrance wound begins to puddle up. It wob, wob, wobs back into place as the bullet enters and sticks in there like, uh, like you know, fruit, fruit and jello, basically. It's swirling around there with a bunch of skull shards. All right, I fire again. 13? 13 will miss as the sword's like, no, listen, come on. It takes your aim off the prize for a moment. As you fire, you just barely clip some of its gelatinous goo, but it doesn't seem to do anything. All right. Asmo, your turn. Okay, I've been thinking about this for a bit here. Uh, Asmo is going to just pull up both blades and charge right at, right at him and activate with his bonus action. He's going to activate Fighting Spirit. Uh, isn't that a once a day thing? I haven't activated it yet. Didn't you use I, it during the fight with the Adric? I use used it three times. Oh, three times? Yeah, yeah, you can I, use this feature I, oh, three okay. times. You're oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. My bad, my bad. I, I, I actually, I used act I actually blew one. Action Surge on Yadrick. Action Surge. That was the one I was thinking. I okay. blew Action Surge. So here, yeah. It's a bonus action for you to give yourself an advantage on all attack. I open attack rolls. I gain five temporary hit points. So you don't have your bonus action, but that's, yeah. That's... I have two attacks on it with advantage, though. Yep. That's, that's, mwah, that's good. Yep, that's exactly what I'm going for. Asma's going to swing with the fire at 24. 24 will hit. Six fire damage. As you Am slice I able to... into this thing, it begins to sizzle and bubble. And Asmo's gonna go for... I, I, I gotta go with Frostbite now, because I can't just do Frost and Fire Ant swings. That's I have fine. to alternate. I have to alternate, right? That's the way it works. I mean, you, you can use either weapon, whichever one. So Asmo's just gonna keep stabbing with Fire Ant, because his, his, the tension's on his friends. <laughs> 27! That'll hit. Both sides, wow. Nine more fire damage. Hey, chest dust! It just starts stabbing, stab, 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 like a prison stab. It like, sizzles and bubbles, and the air begins to stink of burning blood and ooze, and it smells like a garbage fire. Ugh. All right. Denier, it is your turn. Denier takes the dodge action. All right. Giving yourself uh, advantage. Attacks against him have yeah. disadvantage. Attacks against disadvantage. me have disadvantage. All right. Uh, anything you want to do with your bonus or move? Um, what is it to uh, put an item on the Staff of Adornment? Action I'm going to call that an action. action. Okay. Uh... 
And it's it's an action to drink a potion, or correct? Yes. Okay, then I don't have anything that I can do with my bonus action. All right. Denier takes up a defensive stance. As Giblink just kind of shrugging to himself. Denier's pretty much in his last stand. Giblink begins muttering under his breath. And then he fires another arrow. Fucking kidding me, Giblink. Uh, That one misses, although he does have a second attack at least. Come on, Giblink! Alright, this one strikes home as the arrow sinks into the slime again. And this time, Giblink continues muttering under his breath as the arrow explodes into splinters. Hail of thorns, essentially. Oh, he's a... Oh. Four plus... Of course, it's non-magical damage, but... The thing splatters a little bit as bits of it go flying into the water. T-Wig, it is your turn. Okay. Um... This thing begins pulsing violently. Yeah, same verse. Gonna go for another gore attack. 21. That'll hit. 10 points magical of uh, piercing damage with the horn. All right, with its reaction, you begin to feel something ebb into your brain again. I need you to make a wisdom save. Okay. Come on, come on. Ah! Ah! And you hold strong, again, coming away with what feels like a mild ringing. Guys, shake the goo off my horn and kind of snort and kind of paw at the ground with my hoof. Denier, I need you to make one more wisdom save here. Oh, Before sorry, my turn ends, I'd sorry. like yeah, bonus action. I would like to heal myself. Go for it. Uh, I'm gonna use a first level slot to roll a d8 to heal myself. Can you do that while you're wild shaped? Yeah, it's a it's a, actually a wild shape ability. Oh, oh beautiful! I, I can remove uh, spell slots to heal per d8, so I'm gonna heal for four. How about that? Cool. Yeah. All right. And that that will now end my turn. Sorry. All right, Denier, as this thing ebbs in front of you, I need you to make another wisdom save. Okay. 23. Holy oh my shit. Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> oh my Christ. Oh, my heart is in my chest. Like, in my throat right now. God. As it begins slamming about, Asmo, with a uh, 23, that'll hit you. Uh-oh. That is 16 bludgeoning damage. Oh. You're slammed with this pseudopod. Yeah, you got near you got near max damage on that one. Damn. And uh, five psychic damage as your as your thoughts begin to feel plagued. Ooh, okay. As well it just falls to one knee like Ugh. Like blood's coming out of his mouth and no and his snout. And Denier, I need you to make an athletics check. Oh, no. As ooze begins to seep up around your ankles. Athletics. All right. This is going to be bad. Two. Oh! Can't he use uh, acrobatics too to escape grapples? I'm assuming this is a grapple. Sorry. You're correct. You know what? I'll let you try to make an acrobatics. That is much better. Six. Oh, no, it's not. That's still, unfortunately, not enough as... Oh, no, no, no. You become entombed in this being for a moment. Can I use whoop, my... Whoop. Can I use a reaction? Uh, sure. No. <laughs> I gotta do it. Shield level two. Uh, what's... Go, go ahead Basically, and click I'm that. I'm putting a level two uh, spell slot to cast shield. It has no additional wait a, bonus wait a, effects. Hold on, hold on a second. Wait a second. You took the dodge action, didn't you? Yes. Hold 
Uh, <laughs> with, do with dodge, even with advantage, he wasn't going to make that. Yeah, that's true, actually. I just thought... Sorry. Oh, I want him to live! Come on! <laughs> this shit's tense! Shit's tense! I know! All right. Uh, with that, Wolfgang, it is now your turn. We gotta get this boy to do push-ups! That way he My can baby fuck. boy! <laughs> no, my cat! <laughs> my kitty! My kitty, no! If only Denier would jump up, uh, jump up and just grab onto the ceiling with his claws. <laughs> <laughs> Wolfgang uh, sees Denier get swallowed. He's just like, No! And he is going to uh, activate Radiant Soul. Ooh. Ooh. Go ahead and click that. Oh, I actually clicked it instead of putting it in the thing. There we go. And use an action to unleash divine energy within myself, causing my eyes to glimmer and two luminous, luminous incorporeal ring, wings to sprout from my back. I gain a flying speed. Yeah, as oh uh, Wolfgang basically, like, as his eyes glow and luminescent wings lift him three feet off the ground, you can feel the air tor you can feel the air pressure start to torrent around this room. Uh, do you have any other? Do. Yeah, do you have any? Uh... Well, yeah, you start to feel his spiritual pressure. Do you have any bonus actions or movement actions? Nothing. Hang on. Sorry, my, my echo dot went off. Uh, it's all good. It goes off of the weirdest things. Uh, yeah, I'm going to fly towards this thing. Ooh! All right. Sword of Vengeance in hand. As you do so, it begins to kind of... shake away from you a little bit with your radiant energy looming about you. You won't... Escape. Neither will your friends. Asmo, it is your turn. Wait, no, I, I, I have bonus oh, action. Oh, you have a bonus action? Sorry. I'm going to spend two. No, I'll do three. I'll do. I'll spend my remaining healing light uh, to heal Denier. And, All this right. is, and this is ranged, so I can do this. Yeah. So nice. Denier, nice. You nice. heal. Is it is it wrong that I just imagine you pulling, just shooting person with a healing bullet? <laughs> well, my my weapon is my spellcasting focus, so. <laughs> oh wow! Although Healing's this is eleven damage. Although this oh. isn't a spell, it's it's an it's an ability. How many of those do you have? That's crazy. Six. Six. I I just used three of them, so I have no more for the day. Oh, okay. no. But Denier heals for 11 hit points. As you're clawing around, looking desperately around you, you feel your muscles begin to reform and your splintered be bones begin to merge. Asmo, it is your turn. Asmo gets up. Asmo's going to activate Second Wind. This just All luckily right. just this is just a free action, luckily too, which is nice. All right, go ahead and that's a bonus uh, action. Oh, it's a bonus yeah, action. It's a bonus action. It's a bonus action. Yeah. Okay, so I get I get a one d ten plus your fighter level and health back. So go ahead and roll that d ten and add uh, six. We're all level six, right? Pretty certain. Yeah. No, I'm level 14. Oh, man. <gasps> Whoa, this is kind of so much different. 12! Why, haven't, why haven't you won already? <laughs> nice! I'll take nice. a 12. 12 temporary hit points. Okay, do I do, do, I do this? Do I do this? I don't know if I want to uh, do that. That's not temporary. That's uh, You just regained hit points. Oh. Oh, okay. Cool. I'll take that then. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Asmo just screams at the top of his lungs. Ah! <laughs> as you feel a surge of adrenaline race through your body as you see your friend getting pulled into this monster. Asmo just runs straight at it with the fire ant and just keeps, like, I'm talking overhand, stabbing the shit out of, like, just like, mother, I will fuck you up. 
All right. Nat one! Oh, you no! Roll damage. No! As you oh. slam it into Denier's arm. I don't suppose with the fact that I have a shield no, I damage. Oh, helps. Ah. No, you're kind of caught off guard in here. Fuck! As you Jesus stab it square Christ. into Denier's arm. When you try oh. this, but you don't succeed. Yeah, the the being seeing you coming actually plops Denier out in front of you as you as where you're slicing, you catch him right across the chest. Fuck! And then it sucks and then it sucks him back in. God! Oh son of a bitch! Okay. Oh <laughs> Would you like to make your second attack? Okay, I'm gonna ask you the DMs a question real fast here, real fast, before I do my second attack. Uh -huh. I've been saving this for a long time. If I am to rub the magic lamp that I've been saving for a long ass time, uh, you you only have your extra attack because you've taken an attack action. That's what that I wanted. That's what I wanted to. That's what I wanted to ask. Asmo just goes. You would have to hold off on that until next turn if you wanted to. Okay, and Asmo just goes with fire ant again. Twenty two. That one hits as it sucks in your back end. Ha ha. Nine fire damage again. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Ha ha! Asshole just scream. Sorry, Denier. Denier, it is your turn. As you are swimming about now with a burning scar across your chest. Denier, um, there is only one thing that he can think of that can try to get him out of this situation. He's about to learn. Can I get to the gym? Uh, yes, you can get to anything on your person. Denier grabs the gym and he thinks to himself, it's time to learn who you truly serve. You've protected me in the past. Protect me again, old friend. And I use the gym's special ability to try to teleport away. All right, oh. as you do so, make me a wisdom save with disadvantage. Come on, Billy! Ten. You hold on, you close your eyes. Bonk. And you feel clear-minded as you land your feet. The shard! Head... No, go ahead. Yeah. Your body feels a buzz. You shake all of the remaining goo off your body. And you feel a surge of confidence within you. Denier stands up slowly, flicking some of the uh, goo away. I am the one that the shard serves. It does not serve you anymore. You hear no response. Yes! That ends my turn. All right. Giblink making another attempt. Actually, no. Giblink, seeing you out, rushes over to you, throws out his hands, and you see them glow with a green energy. That's kind of pathetic. Uh, as you regain hey, four hit points. He's trying his best. He, he is. is. He's trying his, his little gobby boy best. He is out of his depth. He okay. just happened to roll at the absolute limit, the lowest that he could have. But <sighs> it's from by and slaps you on the knee. You're amazing, Giblink. Don't ever let anybody tell you different. Giblink, try keep you safe. All right. Uh, T-Wig, it is your turn. I'm going to give first... You know when cows look at you and you feel like kind of judged? Like, especially like bulls and oxen, they just stare at you. I'm going to yeah. give that look to Asmo real fast. Just just for like half a second. You're As looking at him what lo through a basically a red stream of jello yeah like a disappointed like mom look and then i'm gonna rear back my head and i'm going to uh go for a core attack all right this thing's already used its reaction so do it oh wait it has that's right wait has it uh yeah would i know that no okay but go for it 26 <laughs> that'll Yummy. definitely hit this motherfucker all right 
10 magical bullhorn damage. As it explodes into a fountain, there's just a small stream. Denier, I need you to make me one more wisdom save. Mm hmm. Don't be the one. Oh my god, it's. No. Shut Don't the hell up, Connor! Connor! Hey. No, Connor! 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 I said don't! <laughs> you Never will. wish for the rules of the. You hear echoing through your head. You will understand. Peewig, you get one attack of opportunity on it. Okay. Twelve. That's gonna miss. Magic missile, if it's my turn. Um, It will actually be Wolfgang's turn here. Wolfgang, you get one round to attack it. Sir. As Crack my neck. As, 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 is made, uh, as it has made it to its limit on movement. Hmm? Uh, Denier, other than those words that you heard, you feel nothing else, oddly. Okay. Wolfgang's gonna crack his neck from side to side. Level Requiem on it. And I'm going to fire out two Eldritch Blasts. <laughs> fire away. You won't have to go disadvantage because it's a spell. Hen. That ah. one slinks off the side as it's wobbling body. You just can't seem to get a bead on it. And you God, fire your it. second one. 22. Nice. That one strikes true. That's going to be 8 force damage plus. Don't worry about it, but do it anyway. <laughs> I was going to say uh, is 8 force damage plus equal to my radiant soul is equal to my level plus six radiant damage as the bolt careens forward crackling with uh, what color are your uh, eldritch blasts they're white crackling with white energy as it strikes this thing bolts of lightning shoot through it <laughs> and it explodes raining dust particles of this gooey substance as they all begin to disintegrate. As what just falls onto his back. Ah! <coughs> the mirror falls onto his back. I hate this damn town! I'm gonna drop for him. <sighs> Giblink hate Humi towns too. Never go anywhere without almost fucking die! To be fair, you almost died in your town as well. Because fucking Humies! Aswell so just kind of holds up his hand while he's lying, lying on his back, just wagging his finger. Sorry, Denier! By the like way! Ow! Hey, yeah! Give Link help again. Can I, I'd Using like to drop his last my spell slot here. Go for it. I will shrink you. Uh, this time you hear he heal uh, seven damage to near. Wonderful. <sighs> that's all Giblin got today. Hopefully, gonna... that's the last thing we got to deal with. I'm gonna heal Asmo. Eleven plus one. So Yay! 12. Hey, that's good. That gets me up to. We have to twenty nine. <sighs> Well, we found Cart. You claim you still need talk people outside? <laughs> we need to get outside. Who knows what the gesture's doing, but... Uh... Oh, God, I forgot about him! <laughs> uh, as we'll just... That fuck. It's been a long we'll just... night. <sighs> That's when like reaches his hand up to uh up to Twig, like uh, help me up. 
T-Wig will give him a handshake instead. <laughs> okay. It's all right. As one just kind of gets up on his knees and stands up. And I walk away. I will walk away because I don't understand. All right. Ugh. Where are we taking this card? Can we just discuss what the fuck that was? For like a second. <coughs> you have Link rather not think about it? He well, he's served the bleeding god. He was clearly a demon. Why was it here? Why anything there's, anywhere? There's been all <sighs> sorts of weird paranormal activity in this cave. <sighs> the jester was doing a good deed by blocking it in. Sadly. Hmm. You're a bird. Yeah, Wolfgang still has some luminescent wings sitting off his back. Not quite. Uh, T-Wig, I want you to make an insight check. Flap. <laughs> <laughs> Call. Thirteen. Dr. Weird Wolfgang, here to sell you insurance. You do get a image that flashes across your brain. Someone who looks like Wolfgang, but different somehow. Very similar clothing, though. Oh, oh. You see these wings, but they're less vibrant than his. Ugh. What's wrong? No, it's nothing. I'm fine. We need to go. Right. We need to, we need to leave here. What yeah. direction are we heading? Uh... Cart yes. ramp back that way, yeah? Way out? Yeah. <coughs> Asma comes up, goes right in front of the cart and starts pushing it again. Ugh. All right, you begin to push the cart back towards the entrance, and here is as good a place as any to take a break. <laughs> so you guys are gathering up your... In fact, I'm just going to move you guys back over to where uh, Ramsey's is. Feel free to drag yourself up here as uh, you would have made it up that way. T-Wig away! No. Hi, T-Wig. I went the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. Hi, T-Wig. I fly over there because I can do that. I can show off. <sighs> what happened? You all look a lot worse for wear. We are a lot worse for wear. <coughs> Denier walks yeah. up, says nothing, but gives Ramses the tightest hug that he has ever given him. Oh, dear. Still gripping the gym. Uh, he seems, like, a little taken aback from that, but then he uh, slowly curls his arms around you. What's wrong, my boy? We found one of his emissaries. One of... He, he notices that you're holding the gem. Oh, my. You... Here. Slow nod. Your training saved me. I always told you, boy, you have a strong mind. It seems you're using it quite well. He pats you on the, he, he like, he like sets his hand on your head and just like kind of ruffles your hair a little bit. Denier gives a smile. So you were able to pull it off then? It... It was a gigantic... monster made out of red sludge. It completely engulfed me. I... It, it was... enslaving ghosts. Or spirits or something. Well... I suppose once we get out of here, I can get the full story and we can figure out everything. But for right now, I suppose we should make our way out, yes? Oh, yeah. Let's, let's yeah. do that with haste. All right. Let's get back to the... Exit, I suppose, he says as he begins to push the uh, cart with Mr. Miner in it. He's gonna move all these. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to grab anybody that I shouldn't grab. Kiwi is no means no. For a while. no. 
Well, I do have a spell that kind of lets me do that, so. So, we just have to get that gate over there open. And ride these carts to freedom. Uh, let's, okay. Let's just take it one step at a time. Let's move the guy over, uh, move him over into the other cart. Uh, which one? The, the I'm gentleman. Going, uh, hold on, let me see if I can mark one of them. Ah, oh, damn, I can't, because they are technically The poor cards. injured man was missing part of his hand. Oh, yes, I know, but which cart do you want to move him into? The one we just got. Okay, so you're going to move him into the first cart. Yep. Because it... I mean, smoother, right? Mm -hmm. uh, there's only one cart that's rickety, and that's the uh, the last one in line. I will take that one because I can't feel things. <laughs> Okay, so you're going to be riding basically uh, two and three to a cart with uh, some of the smaller people hanging out. Like, Gibling's going to ride with one of you. One of the question. I forget, where did we get the third one from? Uh, the third one was already in the... Well, one of them was already in here. Uh, another one was the one that you recovered so that it, from the explosion. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> Denier will take the middle cart with Giblink. Alright, and one more of you will have to jump in that cart. Aswell just jumps in the one with Gib Wait, uh, Aswell will take the last slot. Alright, so you guys are going to be like a three-man toboggan on this one. I figured. Ah. Besides, right, so who, who wants to ride with... I transform with, uh, into a cart. <laughs> Who wants to ride with uh hold on, I'll move that to the back. There we go. <laughs> oh no. I need to move that to the back. Oh, there we shit. go. There we go. <laughs> uh who wants to ride with Mr. Miner's corpse? And not necessarily a corpse, but could I'll, be by the I'll end of this. Them. Where am I? <laughs> Alright, so then that means that Ramses will be riding with you, T Wig. In the rickety cart. Please keep your hands and legs inside the vehicles at all times. Okay, who's going to open the gate? Asmo will do that. He will go grab. Can I pull off the lever off that first that first lever machine we found? You have not tried. Asmo goes over and tries to pull it off. All right. Kuchink, and as you do so, uh, it lock it unlocks itself, and the cart circle or the turning track turns back to the way it was. There we go. Did I pull it off though? Yeah, you have it. I just can't <clears throat> change that design. Yeah, no. Asmo goes over to the other one and shoves it in one of the holes on All the right. left side. All right, and you're going to pull it? Yep. And Asmo pushes it, I guess, technically, from that side. Yeah. Uh, as you push it, you hear it click into place, and... Beautiful. Can Aswell's like, yes, I knew it. Aswell like tries to peer ahead a little bit, though. All right, as you look down there, go ahead and make me a perception check. Oops, sorry, Come. I need to move the. Uh... Twenty-two. Nice. Mm, I'll take right. that. As you look down the tunnel, you see uh, basically like a cave wall very close in front of you. As the uh, track begins to dip down very quickly, and you notice that the track seems to be in relative disrepair. So the, the track is in disrepair? Yeah. As there have been tremors going on and nobody's been able to get in there. Alright, I guess I wave to everyone. Let's slowly move them forward. I think there's a problem up ahead. Asmo's gonna creep forward then. Um, wait. Uh, okay, you fall to your death. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Oh, I thought I thought. Yeah, it was no, a that's path that that's it. No, no, that is just a minecart path, and a oh. deep, deep pit. About, we oh, Donkey okay. Kong, Kurt. We Donkey oh, Kong. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. My bad. I misunderstood you. All right, Asmo's not dead. Yep. <laughs> Asmo's like to go. Ah! And Asmo grabs by his hand and gets back up again. <laughs> oh shit! There's a hole there. It is a far steep drop. Gets in the in the cart with Giblink and <laughs> Denier. All right. How do, you, how do you intend to move these carts over to the edge? 
somebody's going to have to push them, basically. I I will get out and I will push. So at the end. Asma will help. All right. I have high strength. Uh, Nier, I'm just gonna hop you into that one. Go yeah, ahead and give me a uh, athletics check with advantage since Asmo is helping you. Oh boy. Woo! Minus one, let's go! Eleven. Not bad. Alright, it's slow going. Uh, but as you're getting to the edge and Asmo is helping you, Asmo, I need you to make a dex save. Or a dex, a acrobatics check as the first cart with Wolfgang and... Uh, Mr. Miner goes over the edge and it just woof, starts speeding along. Uh, uh, 26, a, by the way. 26, you are quick enough to jump into the cart with Giblink and Denier as your cart begins rocketing Shit. down the edge. And Tiwig, you're on the end and you're able to hop in woof, woof, as your cart as well begins rocketing down the track. As you begin rocketing down the track, Wolfgang, this thing's popping left and right as the turns are hugging way too softly, or as you're hugging the turns way too hard. I need you to make me a dexterity check to keep this thing on its wheels as William's body starts flopping about. Mm, fuck. Dexterity check? Yes. Natural 20. All yeah! Right. You, you managed to grab him as he's starting to float out of the edge there, rock him back in, and rock the cart back onto its wheels as it continues rocketing down this path. Uh, Denier and Asmo, I need you to make an athletics check with an advantage as your cart is the heaviest right now. 15. All right, 17. only one of you got to make it, Asmo. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, one of you is making it with advantage as you're both trying to coordinate this. Uh, to the left, to the left, to the left. As you're bumping about, your jostling manages to knock you into a wall and you uh, take two points of bludgeoning damage as a rock nails you in the side. Who, Asmo? You're screaming by it, all of you. Oh. Ow! T Wig on the rickety cart. I need oh you to make me an acrobatics check. Oh God! As this thing begins to ricket, as this thing begins to shake violently on these tracks. Um, uh, acrobatics check. Yes. Oh beans! Here we go. Yeah! No! 19! Hey! As, as it pops up off the track for a moment, you're able to duck in time. Uh, as is Ramses, as you're just missing a overhanging board. Now, as you're coming around another tight turn, uh, Wolfgang, I need you to make an athletics check to try to hold this thing steady. Hmm. Good. That's my worst stat. Or, I mean, William steady. 14. <laughs> All right. As you're swinging around the side, you're trying to pull William back in the cart as he's starting to pull himself out, and he smacks into a wall. You're not sure how he's doing, but he's, he, uh, a little bit of blood splashes on you. Meanwhile, wow. uh, Asmo Denier, in the heaviest of the carts, I need you guys to make me a acrobatics check as you're gaining way too much speed. I have, uh, I, I'm proficient in this. 11. All right. Uh, as you're attempting to try to find the handbrake on this thing, you end up running, or you end up slamming into the back of Wolfgang's cart. <laughs> Sorry! Rocketing ah. him forward even quicker. Oh! Uh, and you With guys... my last breath, I curse Asmo. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you guys take an additional five bludgeoning damage. Ooh, we're being jostled like sons of bitches right now. <laughs> All right, T-Wig, as you're coming around this super tight turn, you notice that one of the wheels is starting to come off, and I need you to uh, make a investigation check to see if you can fix it. Okay. With advantage, uh -oh. as Ramses is attempting to help you. You cut out just a little on me? Uh, a what check, sorry? Investigation. Investigation. Hey, okay. 
with advantage. 23. Mm. Uh, you and Ramsey's notice, you pointed out, Ramsey's notices it along with you. He looks around quickly, finds a, uh, what, it finds basically a rock for you to try to hammer a peg down, it, pe hammer the peg back into the wheel with. So okay. now I need you to make a uh, athletics check. Oh no. Here we go. No. Seven. All right, you hit it and it manages to pop the peg back in, but as you're doing so, your hand gets caught in the track. Oh no. And you uh. take eight damage bludgeoning oh. as the wheel like crunches over your hand. And now you guys are coming out towards the entrance. You see daylight. Wolfgang, your cart, as it got smacked by Asmo and Denier's cart, rockets out into the air. I need you to try to catch William. And since you still have your flight speed, you can catch him and bring him back to the ground, but I need you to make an athletics check with advantage for it. Dexterity check, you said? Athletics with advantage. Okay. Athletics, come on, baby. 15. All right, you have William. You land safely on the ground. Uh, you're followed by Denier, Asmo, and T uh, Denier, Asmo, and Giblink, who all must make athlete or acrobatics checks to roll, make a roll on that ground as they are flying out of the cart. Twenty-three. Eleven. And Giblink. All right, Denier, you tumble less gracefully, taking two damage. And T Wig, your cart basically explodes as you get to the end there. Oh no. I need you to make an acrobatics check as well to try to land safely. Um, oh man. Can I, can I do something instead? Can I cast a spell? Sure. Um, I'd like to, I would like to cast uh, conjure animals to conjure some sort of bird that perhaps <laughs> could help me. <laughs> All right, you have five seconds to tell me what bird could help you. A uh, giant vulture. Giant vulture. Okay. Uh, you cast, and this massive bird eats the brunt of your damage as you fly straight into it. <laughs> hey, guys. hey, guys, what's going on? <laughs> and it's going to take some of that fall damage as you and Ramses collapse onto it. Oh, no. How much health does a giant vulture have? It has 22, actually. All right, then you have simply broken a bunch of its bones, but it softened oh. your landing. <laughs> you Looney Tunes, Tim. <laughs> I will. I will stand up. I will open my face hatch, and I will just just like thrash my head side to side, and just dispense all the dead bees that are probably produced inside of me after that. <laughs> like you're vomiting. <laughs> ah, bees. <laughs> well. That was fun, I think. But, but you're finally outside. You can smell the air. Oh my god, you haven't seen the sun in- Oh shit, it's day. What day is it? Gotta get back to town. Where are we right now? Uh, you're at the- Hold on, I'll, I'll take us back to the map since now that we're, uh, outside. Free of that stony prison. Yeah, you're fr you're free of that mine that I spent enough time working on. All right, essentially you are at the base of the southern mountain, just outside of town over here. I will ping it for you here. Do -do. And if it will da -da -da -da. Let me zoom in. Enhance. Yeah, you're basically like right down here. Well, that's not very helpful. <laughs> <laughs> we're, by, we're by Silver Rock. You're by Silver Rock. Yeah, you're probably about a five minutes walk to Silver Rock from where you are. Uh, I was just deep breathing right now. And the town seems quite a buzz from this distance. Uh, Aswell just like picks himself up. And goes, All right. No time to waste. We got to get going. We got to. Jackass to warn everyone about. Oh yeah, that's right. As well, like, as well just walks up to a Wolfgang who's who's holding the young lad in his arms. Yeah, his his face is all scratched up. Like it looks like he got abrased by the side of the cart or by the God, side of the uh, mine shaft. Will you live? Okay. Uh, do a medicine check if you would like to check on him. 
Which is bringing a corpse into town where kind of dicks. I found this. <laughs> Natural 20. Nice! He'll, he'll live. He'll, he'll never look the same. But he'll live. I mean, he's already lost an arm. But damn, will he have a story to tell after all this. <laughs> uh, out of curiosity, how much damage did my vulture take? Because it doesn't disappear for a while, so... Uh, it took 16 damage. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, you, it had two bodies rocketing into it along with a bunch of shrapnel from a cart. Fair enough. <laughs> I will... Oh, it's large. I can't even pick it up. I'm going to help the Cop! vulture up. I can't. It's okay. You did very good for your first day being alive. Its head is, like, really crooked, and one of its eyes is bloodshot. Like, completely red. Ah! Yeah, me too. Oh. Starts trying to preen its feathers. Hmm. Whatever feathers I, that are left. Can I get a sense of direction from where we are? Uh, we, the town is like... to the north of you, which is the opposite side of the mountain. Oh, okay. So, we make haste then? Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they case to the place. What do you do with the boy? Carry um, him. Well, let's yeah. put him on the back of the giant vulture. It's a large okay. creature. Yeah. <laughs> it just kind of like waddles along. Oh god, it has a speed of ten feet. This might not be the best option, actually. It'll it'll catch up. <laughs> cool. Uh. All right, so you you leave the vulture to kind of. Uh, Basically, if, if you tell it to go deliver him somewhere, it will. Can it fly with... It's large. If it could, like, ambulance him to the town at the very least, maybe. It'll probably be a little slow after the damage it took. But yeah, it, it can still kind of, like, flap a little bit. Okay, I will verbally command it to deliver him to the most healy looking human it can detect. <laughs> Other vulture noises. It begins to flap, shakes its arm as it feels like it, you know, just took the brunt of two people in an exploding cart. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it begins so to let, flap off towards the... Fall. Do not let him fall! That's a very important detail! It grabs in between its talons and starts flying. No! Good. All right. So you make your way, you uh, start making your way over to town. Uh, Denier, you find yourself, like, very tired. You're like, you have to, like, lean on your staff just because of all this shit that's been going on. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Long day, I know, but I must warn them. Yeah. Let's I move know. as fast as we can. We're just, I guess we're just hobbling and limping into town with, like, a half-dead guy on his arms. Yeah. Oh, no, the uh, vulture took the guy. We're good. Yeah. The vulture flew off ahead. Do we... Sp I hope it knows it's not supposed to eat him. Yeah, it's friendly to me. It, it will listen to any command. It's flying it to the wrong way. Oh, we lost him. Oh, fuck. Oh, 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 it just took it up to a nest. Oh, no. No, oh, that's not... Oh, he's, God. It's his child now. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, he's, he's, he's following your command. Yeah. Uh, as you guys make it to the outskirt of town, you notice that there's, like, a lot of decorations up. It looks like some of these were thrown up overnight. There's kids playing games out in this uh, small borough on the outside. Uh, there's a man dressed in clown makeup, just doing dances and juggling. Asma Homer Simpson screeches. <laughs> ah! Oh, never mind. Yeah, you, uh, your shriek manages to make him drop a couple of his balls. Ooh. Honks his nose. <laughs> Picks up the balls and starts juggling again. All Wolf right. game. Yes. I hold up my mangled hand. I had an accident. Oh, you see that? A couple of the fingers are bending the wrong direction. They're all very dented. Unfortunately, I don't really have anything for you. Okay. Not at the moment. Yeah, a bunch of eyes are on you guys as you uh, certainly look like you've been through a ringer on what's what's supposed to be a very joyous day for this whole country. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray for all of this! <laughs> Asmo says, coughing up blood. 
<laughs> Denier hands Tiwig his final healing potion. Well, I think this is more of like a, like, uh, you know, like a go see Timri sort of thing. I can still use the three fingers, but it's the last two that are kind of like little, 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 you see? Look, look how silly it's bending. When we get back to the tower, I'll see what I can do. Okay. I know Thank you, though. I can mend things. Yeah, a mending right. spell might be able to help that out. Yeah, so who are you guys seeking out first and foremost here? I want to make sure my vulture did his job. <laughs> uh, do you have, like, do you know where it is at all times? No! Nope. How the spell works? It's okay. gone, yeah. You just gotta kind of assume that something happened. Also, how long did it take for us to get back? It took you about five minutes. Oh, okay. Vile blood. You want to find vile blood? We have to see vile blood and see if the jester has impersonated Ramsey since we've been gone. Good call. Can't. He intercepts some messages. No, no, I said good call. As uh, in... I'm, I'm sorry. I think it was, it was a green. Yes. We should hurry. Let's move towards the Baron's Manor. We'll probably be able to find someone there. Oh boy. Going uh, back into the lion's den then. Ultimately, we could start heading toward the ceremony site. Certainly the, secu certainly the head of security will be around that way. Where do you think we should go? The manor or the ceremony site? Uh, ceremony site, probably. Unless somebody has a better idea. I agree with the ceremony site. Would you like me to head to the manor just to check? I think perhaps we should remain as a pack. Yeah. Yes, See of you. course. If he's... If he is, in fact, impersonating me, that would, of course. Yeah, we need you to prove that you are you instead of him who's pretending to be you. Oh, sorry. It's been, uh, it's been a day. It's all, all right. right. Let's go this way. I believe it's off towards the pond outside of town this way, out to the north, north west, I believe. Yes. And Ramsey starts pointing you in a direction and leading you off that way. You start walking through the town. Uh, people all seem to be having a good time. Uh, a bunch of people are crowded around a table and they all look very confused. Uh, you see your bird sitting above on one of the buildings. I'm gonna shoot him the double thumbs up. Ah! Kind of spreads its wings and flaps a little bit. I'm gonna like gesture for him to follow me. Starts following you. Would you guys like to make a perception check at the table? Absolutely. Thirteen. Five. Twelve. Am I supposed to roll uh, as well? Your, your, your passive perception would notice this. Okay. Uh, the uh, one William Minor is on top of a clown. What? Just, dro just dropped on him. Oh, the clown, uh, Tiwig, you notice that the clown happens to have a sigil of the god of life painted on its face. <laughs> oh, brother, yeah. I am so proud of you. And I just give ah. my vulture a hug. Ah. You're so smart. You know how to see images and things. That's good. But... Ah, ah, ah. Out of character, I will not run a. I will not do a perception check uh, on the clown. I will not. <laughs> I do not care yeah, how it is. Yeah, right you, now. you just noticed that the body is on a clown, uh, <laughs> and <laughs> should we should we just leave that there? Maybe it's best if he doesn't know what happened. Probably should make sure that the guy isn't dead. It seems like there are some people coming to check on him. He's gonna wake up with a hand missing. He's gonna have questions. Looks like a couple of people in holy robes coming up. Well, he's getting married now. No, that's no. we gotta get moving. Ah. <laughs> okay, kind of grabs T. Aswan just grabs Tweek by one of the one of the antennae. Ah, ah! Please, that's how I emote. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Starts pecking at you slightly, Asmo. Now, move, move, move! And Aswan just like kind of kicks at people to keep moving. The bird, the bird waddles along as you guys continue towards the ceremony site. Run! I imagine the vulture just having like an accordion neck after the damage it took. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely Looney Tunes and 
Uh, as you get closer to the ceremony site, it starts getting a little quieter. You see a lot of people kind of gathering around, waiting to enter. And uh, out front of the ceremony site, you see Horesh. Uh, it looks like he has a black eye, and his arm oh. is in a sling right now. Ah, oh, yeah! Damn. She a tough lady. Uh, all right. We'll probably go over to see him, then. He notices you as you're walking up, and he kind of, like, glances away for a second, but then looks back. Where the hell have you been? You look worse than... You look like you've been through it. You do, too. Um, he kind of he kind of snarls a little. You should see the other one. The other guy. The other girl? The other, there's lots of them. Uh, there's just one. Okay, we don't have any sight. He starts snarling at you, and you see him grow a little bit. We have news. Important what? news. Can we speak somewhere privately so we don't scare the people? I'm Just... running security here. Perfect, Dagger. You're the guy to talk to over here. Can we like gesture to a place where no one can be heard? I just is there like a place where there's no one else is around right now? He rolls his eyes and snaps his fingers and points at a couple of guards. You three over here. Watch this until I get back. He walks over with you guys to uh, a more secluded place in, like, on the interior. You uh, are standing on the ceremony grounds. There's a wooden parapet built off in front of this lake. A couple of trees in the background. Uh, it's a very nice view. Like, the water's kind of glistening in the morning sun. And... Uh, this patch definitely looks like it's used for a lot of different events as the dirt around, or as the grass around it definitely has, like, patches where it's been stomped down. It's probably used a lot for, like, ceremonies and things within town. Is it really close to that pyre at all? Uh, no, no, you're on the outskirts of town. Oh, okay, good, good. All right, what's so important? And why do you all look like you're one foot in the grave? That's related. I imagine. Ooh. I think for for for, uh, for purposes of like like, should we just say we relay the information to him? What what took place? What re what information? Okay, I I, I basically want the fact that there was an underground. Oh, I, I I want you guys to tell him in character. No, okay, so here's the thing: we went underground and we bumped into someone. We were helping this one. A gesture towards the lovely wizard scientist man. Uh, sorcerer, yeah. Yes, yeah, sorcerer. Sorry. Hello. And we came upon someone you may laugh at, but legit. Look at us. We're just all beaten up. The jester of Bordeaux. He's here, and he's planning something. Do you know he's what he's planning? Him. And we tried to send a message, but somehow he was able to intercept my communications. We think that he has the capability of messing with people's minds as well as altering his form. Have you seen Ramses in town, say, the last day or two? No, he went missing about the same time you lot did. All right, so he's not impersonating Ramses then. He could be impersonating someone. Oh, he could just be some random person walking around waiting for his moment to do whatever the hell he wants to do. What if he's one more. of us? You're giving me a lot to work with here. What, do you just want me to burn everyone in town to make sure this is safe? No. You'd love... No. <laughs> There's more. I was being sarcastic. We believe the true identity of the Jester of Bordeaux may be one Fezziwig the Bard. His face looks at you like, Who? I, am I supposed to know that name? Is Possibly it? more famous than the North. Oh. We found a journal detailing some events. It seemed like it belonged to the Jester because it brought up Bordeaux itself. Hmm. And the people who ran it. Look, I don't know much about Northern history. We're just telling you what we saw. But I do think you'll be very interested in this last part. In the Silver Mines, there was an underground laboratory. 
Is that where you found this jester? Not the laboratory itself, no. And this laboratory, what what was it? The, did it pose a danger here as well? Like, from the ceremony? From what we might be gathering, the laboratory was being used to either create or summon demons. You're dropping a lot on me right now. You're the only one we trust with this kind of information. Yeah, You're and running... be strong. You can carry it. You're running security. If we didn't relay this information to you right this moment, right based on everything that's happening right now, we would be at fault. Okay, so I have to look out for demons and no. a clown. Which clown? He's not a clown. He wears a mask. Jester, clown, whatever. That's uh, such a difference between the two. That's not it. You've known the Kenshis for a long time. You might know that there is a pariah among them. A long uh, time ago. Uh, out of character, what was his name again? His name was Eadric Kench. Yeah. Eadric, Eadric Kench. Eadric. Eadric, Eadric, Eadric. Uh... He was I mean, in love got... with your sister. Hold on, I'm rolling him a... Uh... Uh, since you said that, I'm giving him advantage. Oh, yeah, that little dweeb. Yeah, he just sort of disappeared around the end of the war. Didn't really show up to fight. Well, up until we left the mines, he was alive. Bullshit! He was a he human. Was in, he was in that laboratory, and what we saw was no human. D didn't we have his... Didn't you grab his skull? Yeah, we have his body. Yeah. I have, well, I have part of him, at least. I sort of hold do up you, my cape. Like, I sort of hold up my cape, uh, or my, my, uh, part of my trench coat, like a, like a shield to block view, and I pull out the head. Well, I've one, got the head. Well, that's one problem down, I guess. Can't just knew about it. Apparently oh, he man, had no. something of your sister's. He kind of gestures to you. Look, it like it kind of like, look, man, it's a busy day. You are throwing a lot of words out here. What are the threats and what, like... The Ken look, I, I, I... Barristan I Kench is corrupt. Do you think he's going to attack? Right now, no. The immediate, immediate threats are the Jester. That is the prime, premier immediate threat. Thing is, he can take the form of anybody. So we need to just keep an eye out for anything suspicious. Do you and have any method of which to track this man or find him? Well, if he, he could has, be anybody. He has another crystal. We have one too. They seem to resonate with each other. So in other Did words, if he shows up... With him? No. They'll stay in the vault. Denier checks his spell component pouch. Uh, it's pulsing wildly. And it seems to, like, pulse a bit more and a bit less. Like, th there's, it's definitely moving around you at various distances. He's on the move. At the we we can all see the crystal pulsing, right? Uh, as long as you're at the side where Denier's looking, yes. Hmm. Seems like he's close, but he's moving. He must well. be in the city. I'll tell you what. If anything's going down, it'll be during the ceremony. How so long I need you. Ceremony? Not long. Half hour. That's why I'm so goddamn busy here trying to get things set up. Look, I need to double security around this area. But now I don't know who to trust. That's why I need you. The one that can see this shit. He points straight at you, Denier front and center so you can tell me which one is what. Dinner nods. Do we have a odd very odd uh, are there any crystals for Meternock nearby? As far as I'm aware you took all of them and he was the only one with the big recognized one. 
No, I mean... You said uh, he had it stolen, right? The small shards of the city, what the city's made out of. He's talking about the racist glass. What? There's... That's, a, that's glass that changes color depending on what race you are when you step Meteor on it. Meteor Noct is made of crystal. When you touch the crystal, it changes color depending on your race. We believe that the jester is either an elf or a half-elf, so that could be an indicator of exactly who is what if we can get close enough to touch them with the crystal if we have any well they're coming from the north He's, he just continues looking forward at you like he doesn't know what the fuck you're talking about there are people coming from it. there are people coming from the north in here they might have some semblance on them maybe we can do some experiments and see if we can build some sort of a you intend to build this shit in the next few minutes? He uses magic to hide himself. We could, uh, we could keep, ma we could keep an eye out for magical auras. We'd have to keep it on a cycle, but we could probably do that. If anybody's just radiating from head to toe in magic. I can do that. I can stand right. in the doorway and check for people who are magical. Uh, you're in the middle of a field. Well, I can stand where people are coming most from. All right. Then I'll need you at the entrance. You and I can stand over there, watch shit coming in. You make sure they're on the up and up. Meanwhile, you and... Basically, he points back at you, Denier. I need you at the center of that field, making sure that he's not anywhere around there, and if you get a bead on him, you point. I nod you. I'll you line him up. To, you want me just to float then? Go he, looks, he, he looks at you. Oh, uh, sure. Okay. <laughs> As I just kind of looks away. Okay, fine. I get it. Fucking dragonborns. Yeah. Oh, it's a snake. Aren't right, you like a lower species? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> what color were the, um, when the bugbear's eyes were mind controlled, what color were they? Uh, they were kind of glowing red. Keep an eye out for anybody with glowing red eyes. Well, if that ain't a dead giveaway, I don't know what is. Well, they could be somebody that's simply mind-controlled by the Jester. We saw that he had control a number of bugbears in the mines. Bugbears, gotcha. Well, he might be controlling the townsfolk. That's what I'm concerned about. I'm not entirely sure that was the... That might have been something else. Might have been the other thing we've. Could be. What? All we right. One, th it. one thing at a time. Is is this something that can wait, or is this another? Yeah, this is something right. Right. Don't worry it. about that one. Yeah. Okay. All right. So basically, he directs you, Denier, to kind of like just go stand out in front of the. Uh, in front of the stage so you can keep an eye on everything. Mm -hmm. And Wolfgang, you're going to be like standing on this, on this bridge, which is kind of like a gateway to this festival. Yep. I'll have Angelic Sight constantly active. Yeah, and you'll be uh, basically checking the crowd along with uh, Horace here. Uh, Asmo is going to stick close to Denier. All right, Asmo, you're in the crowd with Denier then. Twig, mm -hmm. where are you going to hang? I'm going to send my, my vulture with his remaining time up into the air near kind of where this party meets the festival and it just keep an eye out for any weird stuff. So if there's anything weird that happens that might be related to what we're doing, specifically like not clowns, but like gestures or like magically red eyed people to come and squawk or, or any, whatever. Any bug bears that might be coming in, gotcha. Just any protruding threat. Yeah, pretty obvious threat. I don't want to just randomly like, you know coming back right. just because it saw a clown um and then while that's happening um i'm gonna kind of like walk the perimeter of the like around the edge of this perimeter and i would like to get some of the clown makeup <laughs> okay uh there aren't any clowns in this festival uh, or in, in okay. on, on these grounds specifically the ceremonial grounds a plan for later then Then I will keep pacing around. 
All right. Uh, yeah, you continue pacing, and they begin letting people in as this ceremony is short to start. Uh, Wolfgang, I want you to make perception check as people start filing in. All right. Activate my angelic sight as well, so I have Boing. detect magic on. Perception. 19. All right, oh. everything's going pretty well so far. Then uh, you do notice one person that's coming in that's uh, glow with magic energy. Like, there's just uh, this faint aura about them. Excuse me. Pardon me. Oh, yes, sir. W what could I do for? Moment of your time. Do you have any magical items on you? No. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Can you empty out of your pockets for me, sir? Oh, uh, all right, then. He starts uh, pulling at the pockets at his waistline. Like, he shows you that he has, like, a coin purse sitting on his side. Uh, his pockets seem to be full of mostly lint. So, yeah, I ain't got nothing in there. And there's nothing in the coat pockets. He shows you the front two uh, breast pockets. But he's definitely got a magical aura around him? Yes, there's something magical on his person somewhere. Can I tell what school? Uh... Transmutations, probably my best guess there. Either that or enchantment. Ooh, okay. Go ahead and give me a investigation check as you're trying to frisk this man. Yep, investigation. And another 19. Nice. Oh my In God. the inside jacket pocket, you find a, f a magical flask. Oh, uh, that, right. I, I forgot about that, right. That. It's glowing with the same energy that happens to be an aura around this man. I, un I unscrew the cap and I shake it a little bit. Uh, it smells like very, uh, very pleasant brandy wine, but it's magical in nature. What's this? It's, it's just a little bit of, little bit of drink. I, I didn't think it was nothing. I thought it was a party. I tilt a little uh, bit into my mouth. <laughs> uh, it tastes really good. Like, whatever flavor you are hoping to have right now, it is that flavor. Hmm. And Horatio hey. kind of looks over. This is a dry ceremony. You heard the man. Put this uh, away. Caught. Uh, he's, uh, Horace grabs it. Get it back later. Uh, okay. And Horace kind of like pokes him on the head and the magical aura around him goes away. Uh, oh. And he walks in sober. <laughs> Damn. All right, uh, T Wig, your bird doesn't seem to be making. Uh, actually, uh, what's what's the bird's stat for perception? Like, uh, what's it its wisdom stat? It's proficient in perception as a plus three. Plus three. Yeah, it's just flying around like normal. Doesn't seem to notice much of any. It doesn't seem to have its eye much on anything. I'm gonna span the edge, like the. Are we like you said we're on like a field, right? Like a meadow. Yeah, you're on a small. A river-lined meadow, and on the other end looks to be a lake. It, it's almost like a small island bordered by a very, uh... It's not an incredibly deep river, but it's enough of a water barrier to say, like, oh, it's not easy to run across that, you know? Okay. I'm just gonna keep scanning everything, like, the opposite of where everyone else is looking, just to be certain we cover all our bases. Alright. Would you like to make a perception check, or use your passive perception? Uh, I'll use my passive. All right. Nothing seems to be out of place. A couple of guards seem to be slacking off. Just kind of off on the perimeter. Like, they're just walk looking across the river. Kind of like leaning on their spear a little bit. <laughs> Do I want to be a shit? Oh, wait, you said they're near the river? Uh, yeah, they're, they're, like, they're off toward the river. Like, they're not directly in front of it. I am going to get about 30 feet close to them in the river, and if they're looking out to the river, I'm going to cast uh, Shape Water. Okay. And I'm going to you... make, I'm going to make two shapes. I'm going to make one shape, which is both of the guards standing there. I'm going to have it rise up, and then I'm going to make a second shape, which is Horatio punching their heads off. <laughs> uh, as as the water begins to move, he grabs his spear and gets into like an action ready stance. And then when he sees it happen, uh, his eyes widen and he like stands straight and holds his spear to look normal, like off to his side as is tradition. 
And I drop, just drop it. Just keep walking. Laughter. Uh, Denier and Asmo, you guys can make perception checks. Denier with advantage as you have the stone. As people are beginning to 17. file in. Eight! Asmo, yeah. there are a lot of people here. And, like, you, you haven't been in this densely packed a place as people are starting to crowd in around you. You guys are kind of in the front row here. Uh, a couple of people are sneaking in front of you, but that's whatever. As you're getting in the middle of this crowd, you're kind of ha finding a hard time keeping track of anybody. Meanwhile, Denier, you constantly, like, looking back down into your spell component pouch. And it keeps... Like nothing's directly on top of you, but it's moving around somewhere. Mm -hmm. All right, Wolfgang, I want you to make one more perception check as uh, more people are coming in. All right. Ha! Seven. Nothing seems to be catching your eyes. These people are coming in. You, you're you're catching the occasional person with. Uh, you're catching the occasional person that's just, like, holding, like, a magic medallion or a magical piece of jewelry or something, but they all check out normal. Uh, mm. Horace is over on the side, watching people go through, too. Uh, you do catch him sneaking a sip of the brandy wine. Puts it back in there. Mm. Keep walking. Nothing yet. Mm. Look all right. up. Look around, never forget to look down. I'm just going to check the ground, just like rest my hands on it and just see if I feel any like vibrations or anything. Give me a perception check with advantage. Ooh. Uh, bird seems to be doing normal. Hasn't seemed to notice anything. 18 for the perception. You're feeling the vibrations of people walking and stomping around. Uh... You do notice that you're kind of over a small rabbit hole, too, as you're, like, listening to the ground. You can hear, like, the skittering of small woodland creatures under the ground. And as oh. you follow it, you're able to find the exit of a gopher hole. Uh, yes, fuck yes, I always take it. What am I thinking? Why didn't I even check? I'm gonna knock on the gopher hole. Gopher pops out. They can't speak with animals. Good day to you, sir or madam. Hello, welcome to my hole. How's it going? Go. Oh, oh, words, words, words. These are human words. Human words. What? Human words coming out of me. Ha. Who? Ha. Hmm. Welcome Hi. to language. It's terrible and awful. I'm sorry. It's horrifying. Um, it is. Um, quick question for you, just checking in. Um, there's like a little bit of what you would call a shindig, which is a very fun word. Um, it'll be temporary, and then we'll leave you alone. Um, I'm just wondering, have you anything been going on like deep, deep underground that might be concerning to you at all, or like hmm. most living things? Hmm. Some of those ground shakes bit back go. Start closing my hole a little bit. Those weren't fun. Ground shakes. How recently were these ground shakes? Ground shakes? Not sure. Couple of couple of couple of moons. Couple of moons ago. Couple of moons ago. Okay. Um, is it been getting like warmer down there? I don't know what that is, but like apparently that's a thing. Things that have like flesh and blood can feel. Hmm. Little drafty. Yeah. Yeah. Drafty. Drafty. Wind. Wind underground. Drafty. Not normal. Not normal. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know this. Um, I don't have anything to give you as a gift. Um, but you're, you look great. Thank you. Good luck with mating season, and I'm gonna stand up. I'm gonna need it! Language is horrifying! It digs back underground. I'm gonna, like, kind of move on over to, uh, like, make my way towards, uh, Demir and Asmo. All right. Uh, as T-Wig is starting to make their way through the crowd... Uh, Asmo and Denier make one more perception check. Denier with advantage. All right. 23. 18. Nice. Denier, you're starting to get a good read on this orb. As you can kind of start to tell that they are definitely moving in your direction. You're just not able to tell from which way. 
You're assuming it's behind you, but you're not sure. But meanwhile, all the people have stopped coming through the gateway and they're just being cut off back there as this crowd has kind of formed into a full blob in the center here. Asmo, while you're looking around, uh, you managed to catch Horace taking a swig of that, uh, br taking a swig of a uh, canteen back there. And you notice that uh, there is a large bubble forming at the center of the lake as it appears to ebb with green energy. A large bubble in the center of the lake. Yeah, it starts moving towards the crowd. It starts moving towards the beach. Asmo immediately starts beelining it for the shore. It smacks like he smacks uh, Denier on the shoulder and points immediately and starts running right for the edge. All right. Of the lake. Uh, the people start noticing too and are starting to make a uh, commotion about it. But as you start getting closer, this bubble comes out of the water and it looks like an energy field. A green ball of energy that within houses uh, Jimothy Blackwart and King Bahoom. As they both <sighs> step out onto the beach, the <sighs> crowd begins to cheer. Hmm. Aswell just stops for a second and goes back to Denier. It's approaching us. I think yeah, it might be coming one. from behind. Keep an eye out. <laughs> Do I reach the guys at this point? <laughs> they kind of went the opposite way, I guess. Uh, they, they get back to their spots as this stuff starts uh, pouring through. Hey, Denier guys. Never left his spot. They sure All know right. how to make an entrance. <laughs> My brother loves making an entrance. Uh, Harish looks down at the canteen as he looks over to you. Want a nip? I'll have some afterwards. <laughs> I just want to make sure this is done right. Right. Good call. That was a test. He says, kind of like looking back and forth as he puts the uh, canteen in his belt. Mm. Mm. All right. Bahoom and Jimothy Blackwart take center stage as the oh. crowd... I'll fix it. No, 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 no. I just wanted to tell the guys in the middle about what oh, I learned from the gopher real fast. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I tell them about the the the, the auras approaching, that it's it might be coming from behind. Um, I just did a little bit of double checking. I talked to a very nice gopher, very, very beautiful teeth. Um, okay. He's... He said that there has been a little bit of tremors and draftiness underground. So, you know, just in case all angles have been accounted for. For how long? Uh, like, I think like two or three days, I think. He said moon cycles, so it could even be months. I'm not sure. That's, that's distinctly different. If it's months, then that means something's been happening underground for a long time. If it's a couple of days, it's like short term. I mean, all the tremors might have knock some stuff down but wind underground what I mean, as you're like saying a... this stuff a hush begins to fall over the crowd as uh Bahum and uh archmage jimothy blackwart begin to ascend the stairs and you actually get a couple of shizz around you oh, sorry. The begins to move behind this behind where they are uh like if they're on like a stage or something he'll try to get behind the stage there's guards standing off to the side of the stage. Okay. So they're just on a stage in the middle of the yeah, field? Yeah, you, you, you feel pretty comfortable standing where you are, although okay. you're still kind of like leaning on your staff a bit. It's been a long okay. day. I got you. Jimothy Blackwort and King Bahoom take center stage as the audience begins to applaud because this is the first time they've seen these two in the same place at the same time on the same stage. Obviously, they've been talking for over a week now, but... King Bahoom holds up his hand as the hush falls over the crowd. Over a thousand years have passed since the cataclysm that ended our armed conflict. The shock and awe left both sides speechless for a long time. In hindsight, this has been entirely regrettable. It took some time for Archmage Blackwart and I to see eye to eye in our talks. But when we finally broke through the layers between us, I could see him as a man of his people. Someone who seeks to keep his lands thriving, just as I do for these great lands of ours. There's a 
brief applause break. Timothy Blackwort steps forward. It is true that for... It is true that we come from very different worlds, but we still share a continent. The divide that split us often felt larger than the great crevasse of the Maw itself. But today, we take a step to unite the lands of Mamaria once more. Again, a brief applause break as King Bahoom begins to speak. With the signing of the treaty this morning, we are proud to announce that our two great nations will freely trade and have open commerce once more. And the crowd begins to roar with applause. Everybody around you begins cheering. Denier, you yourself would find yourself cheering if your hand wasn't firmly dug into your component's pouch and lifting out your gem. You're looking at it as it glows, pulsing quicker and quicker as you lift it in front of yourself. Do I, does Asmo notice this? Yeah. And Denier, you place it on top of your adorning staff. As you lift it up and point it towards King Bahoom, a massive ball of energy flies forth from it. Your eyes meet with his for a moment as a shocked expression reaches his face as a large red beam of energy shoots into the sky from where the great king stands. The crowd screams. You hear the roar, the war cry of bugbears as from within your head, Denier, you hear. <laughs> I told you, we'll be in touch. <laughs>